Hi everyone and welcome to another episode. During the last few months, we as a society have been talking more and more about the concept of AI or artificial intelligence, especially with the release of ChatGPT and its incorporation into the Bing search engine. So I thought we should have a little chat about the legal issues that we may face with this rapid development of AI, especially to discuss a little bit about the questions of liability that AI creates. Let's get started. <laughs> First, let's talk a little bit about artificial intelligence. Now, I must admit, I'm not an expert on the subject matter, but if you are interested in learning a little bit more about how AI works, I'll link a few other videos by other YouTubers in the description below which might help. So what is AI? Now, even if you haven't heard of ChatGPT, I'm sure you have interacted with AI in your day-to-day -day lives. For example, if you use Google, Google uses AI and machine learning in its search engine to give you better search results and to help you find content. So this is something that's not new to us. On the other end of the spectrum, we have self-driving cars, which will help you get to your destination by navigating using artificial intelligence. Then we also have things like smartphones using AI on a day-to-day -day basis. We have smart home devices using AI on a day-to-day -day basis. So this concept of AI is a part of our lives, even if we didn't realize it. But this discussion about AI has become heightened because of the release of ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT, for anyone who's not familiar, is a program that can generate content for you based on certain prompts that you provide. So it can write essays for you, it can write poems for you, it can draft contracts for you, it can have a conversation with you, it can even write the answers to your exams. It's really cool and it's really freaky at the same time, so you should try it out if you haven't already. Now the precursor to this was a program called DALI by OpenAI, which generated art based on certain prompts and commands that we the user would provide. Now while there are lots of questions that need to be answered in light of the development of AI, I want to focus about two legal questions that need to be answered immediately. Number one is who should own the intellectual property rights when AI creates content? And number two is a question of liability. In the event AI causes harm or loss to someone, who should bear the responsibility? Let's first talk about who should own the intellectual property rights in content developed by AI. For example, if you get ChatGPT to write you a poem, who should own the copyright of that content? Now, unfortunately, there's no simple answer to this. Now, the World Intellectual Property Organization, or the WIPO, published an article in 2017 on its website, which I will link down in the description below, that tries to answer this question. The author of this article contemplates two ways in trying to resolve this issue. The first is to say that AI-generated content does not get copyright protection and that it belongs to the public domain. That means anybody is free to use it, but nobody owns it. The other option is to say that AI-generated content is owned by the developers or the owners of that software. Now, this second opinion is based on a judgment given in the United States, which is popularly known as the monkey selfie judgment. The courts held in this situation that the photograph belonged to the photographer who placed the camera and manipulated the situation so as to allow the monkey to take the selfie. But it's questionable whether this logic can apply to AI because AI is a very different beast. Because AI evolves over time and might not be the same thing that the manufacturer or the developer initially released. But finding an answer to this question is going to be very important, especially to find out who should be liable when AI violates somebody's copyright. For example, if AI copies somebody else's work, somebody's copyright, then who should be held responsible? Who should be sued for such infringement? The second question I want to discuss is about liability as to who should be liable in the event AI causes harm or loss or personal injury to another person. For example, if a self-driving car meets with an accident with you, who should be held liable? Who should pay you damages? The fact that these AI-driven products are self-learning makes it difficult to attribute liability to any particular person. Further, there are multiple people involved in the development of an AI system, from the designer to the manufacturer to the programmer to the developer to the user and the AI itself. Therefore, it's unclear on who the liability should lie. The current thinking seems to be the answer to this question can be found in the current existing laws on contracts, consumer protection and tort law. The European Commission in 2020 published a report, which I will link down in the description below, which tries to answer this question of AI and liability. Now, they suggest several ways in trying to tackle this issue of liability and artificial intelligence. 
Now, one suggestion in the report is to attribute strict liability. Strict liability, simply put, is to attribute liability for certain actions without looking for an element of fault on the party being accused of committing the offence. So the report suggests that strict liability should lie with the person who is in control of the risk. So whoever is in control of the AI and the aspect that gave rise to the risk should be liable for the damage. For example, the manufacturers to the product should be held liable for any damage caused by the defects in the product, even if the defect was caused by a change to the product which was done after it was placed in the market. Now this will apply the same way to operators, to designers, to developers and programmers. Where two or more people provide different elements of the AI, but the victim can show that the damage was caused by the AI but cannot pinpoint as to exactly what element caused the damage, then all the parties will be jointly and severally liable to the victim. Of course, the report goes into far greater detail on how to adapt the existing laws to make it usable in order to resolve disputes relating to harm caused by AI. And this is a good starting point for us to try and answer the question who should be responsible when harm is caused by AI. But of course the report feels that it is not necessary to attribute a separate legal personality to AI and we can resolve these disputes by attributing liability to the people and bodies behind these AI. But of course as AI develops at this breakneck speed, we may need to rethink this position and ask ourselves the question, can the human collaborators like the manufacturers, designers and the developers be held liable for the harm caused by AI? That is because AI is self-developing and the product that was placed in the market might be vastly different to the product that caused harm to another person. Of course, this is still a developing area of law and we don't have exact answers to this question. And as is often the case, the law is only playing catch up to the technology which is developing at an unprecedented pace. What do you guys think? Do you think AI needs to be regulated by new laws? Do you think the existing laws need to be adapted to resolve disputes relating to AI? Or do you think the law doesn't need to get involved and the market forces will control AI and the developers and keep them in check? Anyway, that's been it for this episode. Let me know if you're interested in more content on this topic, especially covering other questions that need to be answered in light of this era of AI. And consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.